Hi, it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and today I'm doing a viewer request video. Um, I had a couple people ask me about these little envelopes that I made in my toilet tube mini, and I made them in um, my envelope mini too. I actually got those from Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More Cricut Cartridge, and they're on page 112 and 113. They're these ones here and they have a little slot or a dot at the top of them and so what I do is I just use the blackout version of those now the only thing is right now this cartridge is going for crazy crazy prices on eBay if you have um, this one wild card or just because cards I found some version of those tags on here the just because cards on page 64 has this little one here and it has a little flap that you could close if you wanted to. I'm sure you could just glue it down flat. Um, so that's in there and they've got a couple different envelopes and stuff that you could maybe modify um, a little bit. So that's that one and then in wild card there is this one on page 63 and it's this red envelope here. Now the flap you know, it's supposed to go down, but again, if you're just gluing it flat to your page, you could just glue that part down. And they also have a blackout version of it, too. So it could just be plain without the little dots going along the top. So that's an idea for that. Um, the other thing is the little tags that go in those. I found some tags on some of my other cartridges. I don't know if this is it here or not. I thought it was on Winter Frolic. Let's see. Yes. There's some little tags in here. There's little, um, some different shaped ones. There's some rounded tags. So these aren't the envelopes. They're not the little pockets, but they are um, little tags. This one has a cutout with a little bow. That's just the angled one. Um, and again, like I showed you on the Gypsy, you could always go through and um, get rid of the little hole that's on there if you just wanted a solid tag. Here's a shape similar to the... Actually, you know what? That looks exactly like the tags bags um, one. So those are all the tags. And there's ovals and all different shaped kinds. Some with... That one has a little snowman in it. So that is this one here, the Winter Frolic. So that's where the tags... where you can get some tags from. Um, and then the envelopes, like I said. Fabulous Finds is also a neat cartridge for little pockets and things. I did this one here on page 121 for our Disney scrapbook and it has a little window so you can we put our um, keys in it from our our cabin room. Um, so that has a whole bunch of tags and windows and um, not really pockets but it has some neat little tags. Um, so when you cut out that tag it looks like this and then you fold it over and then there's these little pieces here that just fold under you just glue those and then it folds up okay and then you just ink the edges and sometimes I just glue these flat down like I did on the toilet tube mini and then other times I just take a little rectangle piece of of paper and, uh, and I just glue it down right to this edge and you know I fold it and then I glue the other half down to the book and then that way you're able to um, flip it if you want to um, the neat thing about the Gypsy, I'm going to go on about the Gypsy again, is that you can lay out, sorry, you can lay out a whole bunch of um, tags all at once. Now see, my kids and I did this the other day because we were working on the toilet tube minis. I was working on a Christmas one, but they were doing their Halloween ones. So I took one tag, picked out the size that we all wanted. I actually did this at five and a half inches and I was able to fit eight of those on there and because they're all laid out on the mat I can see you know where exactly they're gonna be so then I just came over with my paper laid down my paper in all the different colors that we all wanted and I loaded the mat through once and it cut out eight different tags and everyone was happy and no one was waiting to work on their designs because they all came out of the machine at the same time so that was cool the other request was to find out about this little thing. Now this is just a template that I made. Um, this was in the Baby Boy album um, that I created. And someone wanted to know how I made it. Now this I actually just made up. 
the idea I came from Emora Designs, E-M-O-R-A Designs, and she's on YouTube, and that's where I first saw her do this. So all I did was I paused the video, just kind of got an idea of how she did it, and I just made it up. Um, if you want some rough measurements of mine, it's ten and a half inches this way, and then it's eight and three quarter inches this way. So if you cut out a square like that, and then you're going to cut off these end squares like this, and this one here is about three and five eighths going across that way. Okay, so then this one is well, that one's actually about three and a half, and this one's three and a half, and three and a half, three and a half. Three and a half. So it's really three and a half. How do I get three and five eighths? This bottom one, for whatever reason, why I did it, is a little bit wider. So this is three and five eighths, but all the other squares, this one, this one, this one, are all three and a half. Just for some reason, I made the width a little bit bigger there. And then this one here is three and five eighths, but then the distance from here to where it folds, this section here, is two inches. Okay? And then I just glued down pieces of paper that were shorter and put them inside. Um, the other thing I did was I rounded these corners. So I just used my um, handy dandy corner rounder. This was the very first scrapbook thing I ever bought from, is it Making Memories? I don't even know who it came from. Creative Memories, sorry. Um, yeah, so that was my corner rounder. So I just rounded the corners and the corners here and the corners on the outside and then right here where this top flap is going to come down I just rounded that part right there and then just brought this part straight down to meet it and then rounded it and I did it on both both sides so then those flip in and it goes like that and like that and then you just take a little tiny piece of velcro glue it down and glue it and leave the thing open because I did that I did the mistake of oh look I glued the velcro and I stuck it down and then I'm, I went to open it and it ripped it so just glue it and glue the other piece here and then just just leave it until it dries okay and then it stayed really good and then all I did was glue a, a button on the top so that's the viewer request so thank you to Debbie 462 and baby 1979 for your questions. Hope that helped. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.